Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Just Head On Playing Persona 4 Golden. Last episode we did some stuff. Just a lot of social stuff, and today we're gonna go and get in. Uh, hello dog. Whimper. Doesn't look very healthy. Mother in law won't eat. Tiny salt and return dog and there. Okay, nothing interesting. Let's go into town. So I wanna go over to the Samagawa floodplain for a moment, because there's supposedly a dog somewhere over here. There's also an old lady with a request. It's so very humid, it's absolutely horrid when you're older. My daughter's family is getting nosy again, chatting on about how I shouldn't be pushing myself. They look at me with their April, uh, April apologetic faces and say things like, Isn't it inconvenient for you, at, for you at your age? I know I don't have too many years left, but I don't want everyone's pity. Pity. Jeez, such really things to worry about. By the way, I have a small favor to ask of you, if that's alright. Sure. Hey, do you come across very many keys? To be honest, I'd like you to find, uh, I'd like you to search for one, an old key at that. But please, don't ask why I need it. There's just something I need to open. As thanks, oh yes. Uh, how about I? Uh, how about something you could never buy with money? Sure. Really? Well, I know you're not gonna just stumble on a key all of a sudden, but I'm sorry, it bothers me. Can't help it. I'll leave it to you. Right. So that's something for later on. A uh, dog. Grr. Woof woof. And off he goes. The dog run away. Perhaps this is the dog referred to uh, to on the Emma that the fox showed you. You're doubtful to return here anytime soon. You should look for it another day. Okay. Good. Let's go back into town. Uh, let's go to the central shopping street and see if I can find somebody. <coughs> see if I can find somebody. Oh. I think Marie is a good idea because she's not always available. Well, I guess we can say it about everybody, but nah, I'll go and I'll go and spend some time with Marie. Huh? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go to the big city this time. I heard there was a bu the, there was a bunch of things to do there, so take me. Right to Okina City. Ba, 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 ba. You brought Marie here to tra uh, by by train to satisfy her curiosity. Oh, so this is the city. Hmm. Weird. It's a funny place, wide yet narrow. It's grey and full of squares. Hey, what do you do in the city? Um, play around. People watch. There's nothing to do. Um, what do you what do you do in a city? Play around, I guess. Hmm. You play a lot? You must be a playboy. <laughs> That's why you only come to see me once in a while, huh? <laughs> you suck, I hate you, loser. Why don't you think of me something... <laughs> wait, wait. Why don't you think about me sometime, huh? I just stand there, waiting. Ah! I cannot figure this girl out. It's very confusing. Oh, and marie -chan. Oh, boy. Hello, um, is she your friend? Oh, that's right, you haven't met her before, huh? She's marie -chan. I had lunch with her once. Oh yeah, this is Yukio Amagi. She's a friend. Friend. If she's someone you know, then she must not be from around here, right? Did she come here? Uh, come? Did she come from a big city? <laughs> oh, I get it. So that's why you're in in ok Okina City, huh? There's still a squad to do around for real, if right? Yeah, I know. And the red one today. What are green and red doing here? <laughs> green and red? Green and red? Oh boy. <laughs> I was wearing green last time I saw you, wasn't I? I didn't say it was bad. You look good in those colors. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks! <laughs> That's because of compliments. <laughs> She's a nice girl, there's no doubt about that. But red girls all red. Does green girl always wear the same thing all the time? Uh, to the point as ever. But she's right. Nope. No, that's not what I meant. It's just, it's a waste. Humans can do, uh, can change their clothes, right? You should try wearing those, uh, wearing other color colors. <laughs> Is that so? I don't really pick up my own outfits. I know. We're just on our way to get some new clothes. Why don't you come along with us? You too, Maricha. Uh, Chia, they might already have plans of their own. Don't just assume they can come along at a moment's notice. Uh, if you want to. Huh? I, I don't mind. Alright then, let's get going. <laughs> I find it very confusing the way that Marie works and the way she thinks. It's very confusing to me. Kuroko fur. 
Chi and Yukiko are having fun while looking for clips. Come on! Hey, how's this shirt? Don't it doesn't look good? It's a good color. Chi is holding a green shirt. <laughs> um, it's that screen, you know? Yeah, it is. Huh? Whoa, you're right. Why do I keep buying myself green clothes? Marie-chan, what's your favorite color? Just tell me. Blue, right? I don't really have one. Hey. What do you think of this skirt? Is it too mature for me? Crimson skirt, you that's, that's an eye-catching color. It's an eye-catchingly red. I see you, so wearing a single color, color isn't it. I like to keep things simple. Thank you. I'll try exploring away with simplicity. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> what about this? Does this say me? Green again? Hey. How about this one? Away with simplicity. There's just too many colors. I'm getting dizzy. This skirt's cute. It would go well with... How's this? She has selected a yellow skirt and a blue skirt. At least it's not green. Wait, but yellow and blue make green, right? <laughs> oh, you're right. Maybe it's some kind of instinct. You're not doing it on purpose. On purpose? Sorry. My apologies. Well, yeah. It's like I was ever the best reader anyway. Chia and, Yukiko, Chia and Yukiko. All these Japanese names confuse the living crap out of me. Okay. Chia and Yukiko finish their shopping and return to the station with you. Why were they oh, why were they only out of stuff in my size? Can be helped? Let's go back sometime later. Might have some new inventory by then. Why don't we all go together then? The four of us. Sure. Why? Uh, me too, why? Huh? Uh, why? Because we're friends. Really? Friends we are? Since when? <laughs> Wait, didn't you have fun? Was I bothering you today? And last time too? Uh, no. Huh? No. You weren't bothering me. I was just asking about why you said friends. What does it mean to become friends? Marie has questions. Hmm. Well, I don't really know. The meaning of friendship? Hmm. You know once you have one. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, I believe there's meaning. There are things you can't do by yourself they, uh, that you can do with, uh, together with others. Like today, we had you to, uh, we had you to help us choose our clothes. I don't get it, after all. I almost forgot this DVD I wanted. Let's hurry, I'll, it'll sell out. It's a Kung Fu movie, right? I doubt it will sell out. Enough talk, come on everyone, hustle. <laughs> huh, me too? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want, I, I don't get it. It's not like I don't want to go though. <laughs> Tsundere, <Hey. laughs> Tsundere go, brrr. All right. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Hey, those two are persona users, right? They're chasing after the truth with you, huh? You can't do it on your own. But you can do it together because you're friends. Since Marie is wondering about what you guys said, you feel like you understand Marie with a bit more now. Good. Very good. The rank three. Hey, pick it up, you two. Move, move, move. Look at that bicycle, by the way. See ya. <laughs> Looking around Okina City with everyone, you escort Marie back to the velvet room. Welcome to the. Shut up, nose! I like the fact that she calls <laughs> Igor no Nose. I love that. But before we continue, though, I first want to fill in a glass of something to drink. Please. I want to keep myself hydrated because it is very good. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. I can spend time with Nanako. Oh, Nanako. Or I can go outside. Let's see if I can find somebody else. Where will you go? Uh, shopping district. Well, Dodge is there, but I can't really do anything with him. Not for the time being. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
nothing. Okay. Let's go back home and then I'll spend some time with Nanako. Hello, Nanako. Yes. Nanako looks happy. Also. And a precious moment, yeah. I can't I didn't expect to get like a full thing going. But oh well. What will happen on Monday the sixth? Hey, Kanji. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, hi there. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. That is interesting, actually. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> wow. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy? I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so... You know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Me too. Hmm. <sighs> How are you feeling? I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our families run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. <laughs> my parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. <laughs> really pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. It's fine. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. Yeah. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Well, now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys 
playing detective or something? Mm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? <laughs> Forget it. Of course you can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Kanji Tatsumi joins your group. You'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. As I get myself. Rank up with the investigation team. Okay, I'm sorry, wait, what? <laughs> well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member. Should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? What? What's that? Come on, let's go. Special headquarters, Juness. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess it kind of is our headquarters. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. <laughs> ah, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. We're <coughs> listening at all. <laughs> Uh. Oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? <laughs> who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Hmm. I think that is still correct, though. Well, maybe in a loose way. Well, both Yukiko and Kanji Kun were involved in some way or another. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? I took the paper from Kanji. There are several lists. Which one do you read out loud? Manga album chart, female announcer ranking. List of TV programs. Maime Yamano, 4-11. Saki Konishi, 4-13. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. Or was the evening before? The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki-senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi, April 13th? Hmm. Today she was on TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? 
Mm. When did that interview air? Oh, wow, I see. This when I was absent from school. Um It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yes. I went shopping that day. So, April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and the date, just tell us the date. Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Hmm. Can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, What's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget... It's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun! Seriously? School, huh? <laughs> what a drag. That's an amazing face. Yo! Mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh... We're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, none of it, and then just ramming it into the defeat. Nice. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. I've been wondering too. It's kind of cute. Mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Th that's uh... What was it like for senpai... <clears throat> Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. <laughs> more gentle? <laughs> what a pair of dimwits. Indeed. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. 
Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? <laughs> it, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. Please tell me that that's just like actual. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. Why are you taking it out on me? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> she grabbed the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh, my sides. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting Ooh. it to you. Why the hell That's did you cool. bother making a spare if it's Shade more of useless crap? Damn it. I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> <laughs> really didn't expect Yuki Code to be like this. It's amazing though. I like it. It's funny. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Anything? Anything in the fridge? No. Oh. Eat it? <laughs> no. I'm gonna. Oh wait, no. I can't do that, right? I need. I need something else. Am I gonna eat this? <laughs> eat it. Sure. These things give me some good stuff usually. Ridiculously sweet, wow. Cool, it wasn't even bad. Also didn't give me anything, but... Meh. Okay, let's go and do some light reading. The gentle way. Alright. Tomato. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. Since when can I eat in class? You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school camp out is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. <laughs> Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? God, help me. You wish. Guys and girls sleep in different tents. Of course they do. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. Probably. And this gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. <sighs> How hopeless is this guy? I swear to God. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, hello there. Did you know this week is health week? And, uh, and you're not part of the Student Health Association? Not a word. You're lazy bum. I hate lazy good for nothing kids like yours. I'm signing you up to take the place of a sick member. That's not fair. Quiet, you. I don't know what school's like for your, for your big city kids, but here it's every student's duty to pitch in. 
Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something, uh, to do something this easy. Sure. I see, I see. Then go straight to the infirmary right now. They should be expecting you since I already told them to do it. Thank me. Well. Um, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Might be interesting, though. Oh, Fredkin, was it? The transfer student, right? Did you get hurt or something? You told them you'd, uh, you'd been sent to replace a sick member. Thank goodness you're running low on people. We need to check around the school to see if everyone needs if anyone needs help. But someone has to stay and watch this room. Would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? No touching the medicine, of course. If someone who is hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The only other things you'd have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon, though. The student health association splits up throughout the school. Oh, someone's here. Hello, I'm Kitao uh, of Santo. I'm uh, from Sampho of Santo <laughs> Pharmaceuticals. Um, aren't there any adults here? Could you deliver a message for me then? Your school placed an order for gauze, but I need to know if the order can wait until the month after that. Give my regards to your teacher. Thanks for your help. Anything happen? I told her that a representative from the pharmaceutical company came. Oh, we should have Sensei call him back. Do you remember his name? Uh, Kitawa from... Where's Kitawa, right? From Santo, I think. Oh, about the gods, huh? What did he say? Uh, can I come next month? Hmm, got it. I'll call Sensei. Yeah, I relayed a message to the teacher. You got this. You got his message wrong. He corrected me over the phone. Oh, gave them the correct, the wrong person to embarrass the teacher. Uh, he went alone. Yes, yeah, since Konishi isn't here. Oh yeah, Konishi can. He can't help it after what happened. Yeah, poor thing. So you just have to do his part too. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you look like an alien. I'm sorry, I'm late. No, no, it's it's okay. You don't have to come, really. Helping at your parents' store is hard work, right? You have a replacement, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. Well, you can help Fredkin clean up this room, then. We'll go report to the teacher, so why don't you clean a little and go home, okay? Well, goodbye. I guess I did get it wrong. I'm Kanishi, first year. You knew Saki Kanishi? I'm a brother. Ooh. You're friends with Hanamura, right? I hate him, and you too. Can I go home now? Sure. Goodbye. Yeah, no. You did your part and helped the Student Health Association as ordered. The other members didn't return, so you decided to go home. Cool. That was a waste of time. <laughs> well, not really. It unlocked a new uh, social thing I can do. So, when I can add a social link, I can probably develop if I have enough stats. God damn, man, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of bullcrap being thrown in my face. A lot of mean people. Hmm. I wonder why that guy hates. He doesn't have any reason to hate me or Panamura. But I don't know. Um, do I want to spend time with Yosuke? I think so. Yeah, he's a part member, so. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, my back. Damn, it hurts to do anything. You know how it's been raining nonstop lately? I have my hands full keeping the store floors clean. Part time is slack off on it, saying it's too much trouble, so I end up having to do it myself. Hmm. Your clean lantern. <laughs> um, why don't you call him off? <laughs> well, you know, being the owner's son makes it hard for me to say stuff like that. It's nothing right. Really. God damn it. Well, I just have to stick with, uh, stick with it through the rainy season. You know what they say. Danger past and God forgotten. <laughs> Amazing laughter. Speaking of the rainy season, just the other day. And then, yeah. I failed. <laughs> At huh? uh, choosing the correct thing. You can have... Mouthwash. <laughs> Why, thank you. Night. I needed that. Alright. Rain. It's June already, eh? Well, good news. That's me from the first year is back with us, so we try to get to set good examples. I know it's the rainy season, and you may be may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together, yeah? Anyway, I really hate this weather. 
since I can't go out and exercise. And watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw the Haken Dai competition the other day. They had a beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance, though I can see why men would be afraid to try it. <laughs> huh? Hey Fredkin, what sport is Haken Dai? Haken Dai. It's something with dancing, right? Or was that what I said? I guess. Really? Oh boy. Balance beam is taken. Okay. I bet when you kids hear the word beam and, uh, and balance a wonderful wooden beam. Minor trick, boom, and sports. Uh, Compare sticky card. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. I hate it. Oh, it's just a game being like, <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Hey, guys, okay. Hey, hey, guess what oh. I just heard. Okay. When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play. What are you talking about? Come on, you know what I mean? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! What does a motorcycle? Man, you're a lot thicker <clears throat> than I thought. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? Oh no. It's a matter for getting a motorcycle license. Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. But at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? You also get some serious about this. Hey, Kanji. Sup, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? <laughs> Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. I really like the fact that he's like, look, he looks so intense, but it's just a normal guy, really. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? Except for, if you know. You're bringing a war, I'll help. <laughs> Except for, you know, the very aggressive kind of shenanigans, but. No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already. Nah, I'm still 15 and all. <laughs> then why'd you say it like that? <laughs> Man, that reminds oh my me. god. I'm surprised 15? That Are you kidding game. me? That's How'd weird. Chase after them? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. In any case, oh. we can't let you in on our up close and personal plan. Up close and personal? What does that mean? <laughs> oh boy. Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then, and then, a girlfriend. <laughs> so you're over her? Oh no, you're like a kindergartner. Oh shut up! I'm at least a middle schooler. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely middle school. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. <laughs> Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. I have a tiny feeling where just like this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, why is Yosuke like that? It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal? Plus... You know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. I think, uh, you know what, if this was me in real life, if somebody started talking to me like this, I would just walk away. <laughs> I'd just be like, yep, goodbye. Pheromones just no. off of us will bring them around I'd in no, no. time. What, fe feral zone? 
No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones? <laughs> Dude, that's how a perv would react. Yep. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood <laughs> to these chicks. <laughs> this game is amazing. I love it. I already <clears throat> told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. <laughs> I love Tanji. He's amazing. I'm or Kanji, sorry. This. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! It is true that a motor that with a motor motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. Mm. Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> Should you try consulting Dojima about the motorcycle tonight? Class of ended for today. <laughs> All right, people, this is gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of just I was playing Persona for Golden, and next episode we're gonna go and. Do some stuff? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Goodbye.